sir. Thank God you're here. Do I know you? Uh, yes, I am your daughter's cleaner, Nora Mackenzie. Mackenzie? Is that a Scottish name? Yes. Where is my daughter? Ah, uh, yes. She's through here. Come, please. See it. See it. <laughs> so what stage we are? I'm in a squeaking stage. Uh. Done what? Oh, he's a son of a. I know. Shh. Did bastard. Okay. Go on. Shh. Go on. Dry your eyes. Go on. Go on. There. What exactly has he done to you? Lipstick. Lipstick. He's put on lipstick. You tell me he's a tranny. No. I knew it. Oh, I knew from his little mincing walk that he was. I can't believe it. He's been cheating on me. Do you say cheating? Has he been cheating on my daughter? <laughs> I'm going to kill him. I'm going to murder him. What is he? Huh? What is he right now? Hello, Mr. McDonald. So how are you? Come here! You have one minute, boy. Huh? One minute to explain everything. Everything? Everything. Um, in the beginning. God said, let there be light, and there was light, and it was good. <laughs> you explain to my daughter why you've been cheating on her! What? What? I've not been cheating on her! And where were you last night? And the night before that. And the night before that. And the night when he stood you up at the James Blunt concert. Yeah, and the James Blunt concert. And what about the lipstick on your neck? Norma, don't you have something else to clean? I have cleaned everything. Oh, I mean, deep me. That has been fucked my dog. Okay. The reason that I was late was because I was out with the guys. You know, with Bruce and Tony and Bruce, another Bruce. Yeah, and we just went out on the booze up and we got like really drunk, you know, you know, it's like when you, you get drinking responsibly. I spoke to Angela and Stephanie and Mary Jane, the boys all got home early. Yes, but... And the lipstick? Hi. What about the lipstick? Yes, the lipstick. The lipstick tray, what about the lipstick? Oh, I was at the hen party, the hen party, you know, with the Bruce, uh, yeah, classic Bruce, and we, um, he, he could put uh, that 20 into that bucket thing, and the hen came over and, yeah, she fell onto my neck, and uh, hence the lipstick on the neck, yeah. You hurt my daughter. So I don't want to see your face ever again. Alright? Okay. Oh. Just one more thing. Yeah. See Norma? Hmm. She's Scottish. Huh? She's lived in Scotland all her life. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Stay away from my door. <laughs> Will do.
A legend, local hero, a man who dreams of achieving it all. This is the story of Scottish-born actor Cameron Stone. Uh, oh, can I swear in person in this thing? What swear words are we looking at? Uh, I don't know, like, uh, what? No, no, you can't say that. No, fine. Uh, what about, I? Uh -uh. Like I feel like the director really uh, buggered up the film. That should be fine. That should be fine. Right. Just see, so there's nothing. Or I feel like the director really buggered me up the ass during the shoot. <clears throat> that's fine. No, I I don't think so. Fine, because he buggered up the film. Right. Okay. No, actually, I get that. Right. Gotcha. Let's go. Roll this. Time is money. But he is without a doubt this decade's hottest and most versatile actor, working from project project, sometimes two films at the same time, films such as Too Hard and Handball, a true story, Mexican, 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 all directed by long-term friend and collaborator Jeff Wadamaka Fellestrom. He's amazing, brilliant, the best I've ever seen, versatile, he's so versatile. So what first drew you to work with Cameron? The first time I ever worked with Cameron Stone, it was on my low-budget martial arts action movie, Lightning Fists of Vengeance. You know, he has this primitive animal sexual magnetism. You know, versatility? That's Cameron. He's a pleasure to work with. I mean, I've heard rumors that he's difficult, but it's not like that at all. That's all crap. I know the real Cameron Stone, the real man. It's like, it's like there's two Cameron Stones. The real life Cameron Stone who adopts abandoned teenagers and the dog lover. And then there's the actor Cameron Stone. How do you describe him? Hmm. Versatile. Intense, very intense. I mean, I know our film, Wrong Number, Dial Twice, was flop at the box office, like a failure, a bomb. But he was so intense. Like, really intense. And versatile. What can I tell you? He's a cunt. John, 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 look at me, listen, close to close to look, look, look. All right, listen, listen. Hey. Get your head out of the yeah, get my head out of the clouds. I understand, all right? But you just fucking try standing here doing this. Okay? See, that's the problem. That's the problem. You're standing. Listen. And never moving Listen. on. And never moving on. I get you. I can do this though. I can't, I can't do it with you. Stop fucking me! Well, the guy was so full of himself. You see, he wanted all the screen time. But I, I'm Michael Bain. Not a lot of people know that. Nah, this one, he's cutting off the end of my lines. I says bollocks to that, and I gives him a slap. We actually kept it in the film, which you can see. Now, you listen here. I've scored 100 oh, goals. Yeah, I know. Wrong. Right, you little shit. You're a small man and you're not very good. I do this for a living. Now, behave yourself. But I will say this. He's a versatile little cunt. However, not everything has gone well in Cameron's life. As his private jet pilot, Captain Ramona Lewis, stated in her tell-all book. I, uh, <clears throat> he's very, uh, versatile. It was when I was piloting his private jet, we fell in love. I told him that first night, in my cockpit. Cameron is his eye little secret. Then why did you publish a book about your time together? Well, I needed the money. With 
Miss Lewis' book becoming the fastest selling title of its generation, the cracks started to show in Cameron's performance. It's this here! It's this guy right here! La da 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 She's coming in front of me all the time! We were contacted by Cameron's adopted daughter, Pear Stone. Who hasn't seen her father in over four years? Well, it's. It's a bit overwhelming, really. It's, uh. You know, getting my daughter back after all this time. You know, like a gaping wound that's been filled in. You know, like a taco. With cheese. I, I can't eat cheese. Sorry, can, can I just ask what? What's with the hair? Oh. It's just a little bit f***ed up, don't you think? Watch this. It's like, land ahead! <laughs> God, I love you. God, take a joke. God, take a laugh. Ah, oh, she's sweet. With his life back on track, reunited with his adopted daughter, Cameron continues to make fantastic films, entertaining audiences all around the world. We met with his agent to discuss it. It's incredible. He's got so much going on. We're talking Stallone, Willis, Shatner. I've heard there's talks that Johnny Depp is interested. You think you can just come into my life, mate? Just think I will have my arms open to you and say, you're my father and I'm your son. Well, that ain't happening, mate. Because I ain't no Captain Sparrow. I ain't a Captain. I ain't a Sparrow. So I've got news for you. Fuck yourself. Right, okay, next. What do you mean next? Do you know who I am? Say that again. Then you can download the Written Buddy app now. What you waiting for? Download it now. I can always do it later, I guess. So. Download it now. Welcome to Rancher Buddy. Please choose your selected buddy now. An error has occurred. Please choose another buddy. An error has occurred. Please choose another buddy. Stupid technology. An error has occurred. Please choose another buddy. Oh, good choice. Your buddies are on the way. Goodbye. The way, buddies? Hey, do I know you? My name is Frankie Lee. Owner and part-time delivery man with Rent-A-Buddy! I am here to deliver your Rent-A-Buddies. Sorry, buddies isn't plural? <laughs> Hello! 
nothing but good times from here on in, buddy. Woo! Okay. Uh, yeah, but you said buddies is more than one. Uh, I yes. What? What do you mean? It's lovely to meet you. No. Do you have a license? A license to party. Hmm? <laughs> okay, that was we're not right. Uh, about this clerical era. I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. I need to be. I need to be. Uh, the toilet's down there! Oh, the toilet's down! Okay, right, uh, so uh, getting back to where are you supposed to be? <laughs> Hi, I'm the press buddy. I'm here to make you smile. Hooray! Your house is so much nicer than mine. No, but seriously, Frank, uh, Frankie, uh, this is out my budget. I can't afford this or something because this, this, I only ordered the one and this is like way too much. That's for later. How long have I got with them? One hour. Buddy. <laughs> and this, sir? Life is like a butterfly. Ever fleeting, ever flying. It is a beautiful. And so are you. Try doing it backwards. So, guy, what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you guys want to do? <laughs> Yachi! Let's play just me up. We could start with a double martini and uh, take it from there. My hamster just died. Let's play doctors and nurses. Oh, Why don't we just uh, party? Oh, 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 you're such an amazing dancer, buddy! Keep it up! Well, thanks! There we go! Oh! Have a drink, cool guy. Thank you. Your moves are so much better than mine. Hey! Guy, you're so hot. So hot. Yeah. Yeah, huh? I wanna play dress up! Well, I'm kind of in the middle I, I, of something. I want to play dress up, come on! Oh, I said I want to play dress up. Okay, let's go. Okay! Come on! Yeah! Pew, pew, pew! Hey, buddy, how's it going? Where you been? The party misses you, man! I just don't think I can afford this, dude. Oh, no worries about that. I've got it. Are you sure? What are best buddies for? Done! I was just figuring out that, um, uh, like, he's like my best buddy, sort of thing, and uh, he's like the depressed, trying to cheer me up, but he, uh, he's for my confidence. And she's just crazy. <laughs> and so I was just uh, wondering what buddy you are. Oh, I'm your f buddy. It's our little secret. I bet he doesn't go soft halfway through. Could I be having any more fun? Drop that stinky beast! <laughs> All right, darlings, let's wrap this up. Chop, chop, everyone back in the van. Hey, dude, where are you going? Sorry, mate, your time's up. For a good say we are, Bill, though. Oh, hey, hey, but, but uh, you, didn't you say that you were going to take care of that? You know, best buddies and all? Sorry, pal. I'm no longer your best buddy. Your hour's up. Chin up, though, eh? Listen, I just wanted to say, you're a really nice guy. Oh, thanks, I needed that. Yeah, whatever, it's part of the deal, you know. Buy five buddies, get one free compliment. Anyway, I start my new job at Funny Burger tomorrow, so I just wanted to say, you're a dick. My dog just stood on a landmine. Do you suck dick? Hmm? And that cat contracted syphilis. We can start with a couple of them. 
start with a couple of double vodka. Well, fucking, we can, we can start with a couple of double vodka. My frog wants this ribbon. Yeah, the man! Yeah, the man! Yeah, the man. Now there's a little bit of Oh, come on. Surely you've got something to fuck me. Hey, guy! <laughs> My mom just got a head kick, Tim. <laughs> Welcome to the last bar, Scotland's only 21st century themed watering hole. My name is Dusty Beaumont, but you, my love, can call me Dusty. Yeah, can we just spare with the pleasantries, Dusty? We haven't got a lot of time, should we just move this along? Of course. Your little decision. First, let me give you Le Grand Tour. Hmm? Don's EC. Drink up me duck. You have a busy day ahead. And I don't want you getting dehydrated. Oh. Mind if we just move this along, Dusty? Let's get this all wrapped up and then home to the wife. And my love lies bleeding on the ground. Thank you very much. I used to be an entertainer. Dusty Fantastic, they used to call me. Voice of an angel! And I used to fill every venue, in every city, in every part of the world. But now, now I'll just sing to anyone who will all listen. I'm, I'm sorry. I apologise. I was allowing memories to come all over me. Of course, the investigation. Pick one. And then we'll start. Now then, you've 60 seconds. I want you to tell me, why don't you want to come back, John? It's Jonathan. Not John. It's a tired old cliché, but I had it all. A wife, kids, a career, top of my game. From spaceport to spaceport, I could have anything with a hole and a heartbeat. I get home and everything seemed okay. Nothing out of the ordinary. My daughter asked me, how was the flight? The flight was mediocre, but the hostess licked me to ecstasy. And that's when it hit me. I had contracted a goddamn truth virus. But now you tell me, do you know anybody who is happy with their lives without the ability to lie? Now explain to me, what exactly happened in the spaceport? My mother's gone a bit soft nowadays. She doesn't have that killer instinct that I have now. She made me acquire a certain taste, better food, even better taste in me. I was on my way to the drop. I had the suitcase, it was easy. I handed it over to the contact and I looked up. And there it was, that holier than thou smile. My mother would win. She would take it all from me. Do you even feel sorry for what you did? Let me answer your question with another. How would you feel? How would you feel if everybody didn't see what you saw? 
didn't taste what you tasted. No. What exactly did you do, Mr. Vincent? I wanted to be the bigger man. At least that's what I wanted him to think. I decided I would bury the hatchet. <laughs> I invited him over for dinner. Oh, the irony. I wanted him to see what real food tasted like. How was I to know that my prized china could be so easily mixed up? I didn't do it. Never said you did. So what am I doing here? You tell me. Nothing to tell. Didn't get that impression from the day. Why don't you try some truth serum? I hear that's easy enough to catch. You know, for a con artist, you're so easily distracted by such a simple day. How do you know I'm a con artist? Please. Only con artists carry loaded dice, and I know loaded dice when I see them. Still not talking. Oh, that's all right. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the final interview of the evening. Ooh! Well, it's never done that before. the last bar. My name is Dusty Beaumont. But you, my sweet prince, you can call me Dusty. Hello, my name is Maggie McDoon, proud shareholder of the well-loved McDoon and Oot COVID-19 care packages. But more importantly, I am loving stepmother to three wonderfully close children. It is with great regret that as you are watching this, the homeopathic dandelion syrup failed and I will be self-isolating in the morgue with Father Campbell, our lodger, anticipating the next generation taking and shaping the family business. <coughs> My children, Kim, Jaden and Christoph will continue the legacy. So thank you. Thank you to you, our loyal customers, for your services over the years and your comp, your support. You are all honorary McDoons and I will leave you in the hands of my capable children. Hello, it's me. Is this thing on? I don't think it's on, Jaden. I'm reading. Got another five minutes, love. 
Besides, if I have to look at that plug ugly beardy for a second longer, I'll stick his jigil so far up his keister, I'll think I'm his ventriloquist. How could you say that about Christoph? He's so sweet. Christoph, I need you to book the Caledonia, change my flights, and upgrade your hardware. Ah, a pen. <laughs> I mean, only the other day he showed me his package and how it's grown from when he was a teen. You should see the new lines and spoons. Hello, this is Houston. Oh my God, who is this? Like, whatever. You hear me, Houston, we have a problem? If you do lines, we do. <laughs> this is Orlando, hang on, the signal's going. Hello, is anyone there? It's not on, I'm sure it's not. It's you. A gesundheit and welcome. Oh, Christoph, you can see me. How lovely to see you. Ah, so happy to have you here, Penelope. <laughs> Jaden, welcome. Ecstatic you wish to join us in an announcement of the new manager of McDoon and Oots. Care packages to the stars. <laughs> we stock Elaine C. Smith and the Crankies. Anyway, when father passed, he requested that I pass the Silver Strigo 2, drum roll please. This is it, Pen. The moment I step up and take charge. Be the man. Step into your father's shoes and pass on his packages. Shoe. He had one leg, remember? Uh, fine. Step into your father's breach and we take control. I don't no, want to take charge, Dee. I want a family, a nursery. Nonsense. I'm far too talented and ambitious to be saddled with children just yet. <coughs> Pass it on to the best person suited for the job. At McDoon's and Oots, we make hard times palette able by sending our best quality palettes with quality merchandise globally. So here's Kim K to remind us before we hand over. Kim? Hi, y'all, and thanks. Who could forget McDoon and Oots COVID-19 premium lounger Lilo, <laughs> great for indoor beach parties, our chocolate coat in Mazaka, inflatable balloon animals and our newest line in the States, suede assless chaps. Assless? What did you do that for? Toilet roll shortage. <laughs> uh, look, I don't know what you're trying to pull here, but we only want to see who got the job, and it better not be him. <clears throat> no, you're right. I am a poor choice. I have no backbone. That's why I appreciate Eamon Oot's spinal straightener for straightness all day and shoes off all night. <laughs> so who got this job? And stop snivelling, Penelope. You know it's the, what I came for. <coughs> Mr. Campbell requests the Trigo go to his favourite family member. Here we go. His American niece, Miss Kim K. From now on, you call the shots. <laughs> No, that's a mistake. What's she got that I haven't got? <laughs> Besides a top-of-the-range clothing and fashion brand, my own chain of lipstick and makeup franchises, and a little thing called a uh, 51%. <laughs> I wonder, pal. Why, you jumped up, little trollop. He only gave you this business because you wiggled your assets at him. <laughs> <laughs> you speaking to me, big man? I don't take kindly to that kind of talk, and nor do my three bodyguards arriving on a midnight flight. People, people. Father Campbell wouldn't want this. He was a good man. If that rubber glove hadn't popped your mass, he'd still be with us today, selling his supersized whoopee cushions and making extra money for the business, the diocesans and all those poorly, poorly children. I'm coming round there, and I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Can you go over and pat his back or something? Sorry, Christoph, but we have to be two metres apart. Besides, there's um, there's someone else I'd rather self-isolate with. <laughs> oh, Christoph! Oh, Penelope! Oh, fuck! <coughs> oh. You guys, like, is he okay? It's just a flesh wound. <laughs> I know you're my half-cousin from the other mother, and father dropped me on my head as a baby, but Penelope, will you marry me? Oh, yes, 
<laughs> I'll send you guys some chaps. Later, lovebirds. No need. I've got mine. <laughs> I told you the bloody thing was good. And whoever you are, take care, keep safe, and wash your hands. I love you. McDoonanute. <laughs>